Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam, and welcome back to After Campfire. You did an office video, so I'll do an office video, which I'm pretty sure I've done plenty before. Well, I'm not in my work office office, but I'm in my home office office. But it probably looks a little different because I'm going from an angle I don't usually go from. I'm doing the, like, this angle instead of that angle, which is crazy, but it's also just because it's really messy. But you'll see it anyways in a bit. So welcome. So this is my first real video of the year since we did, like, the New Year's Me You Sydney video, which it was very funny that you commented on us, like, looking like crap, which is, like, yeah, we're, we're old, Sam. Staying up till midnight and beyond is exhausting. Um, I have friends come over on Saturday nights to play, like, Magic. We play Commander. Um, usually some people will dip out early and I'll stay for, obviously, stay for the last game. It's here. And then we'll play until 2 or 3 sometimes. Like, yesterday we played until 2 or something. I'm tired. I used to be such a night owl. And I used to not care if I stayed up late. But now, I feel it. And it's... This is the year we turn 30, Sam. We're... <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting... We're getting up there. Um, so, I have updates, I guess, on life. I, that's Henry's diary of how to adult what we do on this. Um, uh, God, did we start this when we were 20? Man, we've been doing this for like 10 years or something, Sam. So. Uh, but Henry's diary of how to adult. So, it's almost the end of January already. Um, Sam took a while to make his video, and he made it at a weird time, so I took a week and a half to make mine. Um... So, Sam talked about my year's theme thing of being, like, um, treating myself like a child. <laughs> and what that means is, like, when I was a kid, if I had something to be done, my mom would, like, make an appointment. And I wouldn't worry about it. It just happened. I just, it just happened. But, like, I, I haven't been good about, like, regular doctor's appointments and things like that because when you're in your young 20s or whatever, you don't get sick too often, you're like, in the prime of your life, you're ready to go, and there's just been, like, lingering things that I just needed to take care of, and they've been building up and building up, so, like, the first thing I did when I got home from the East Coast was I took care of a lot of the things that have been on that list of things that have been building up, like, my passport, I needed it renewed, I had tried to get it done last year, they rejected my photo for no good reason, and I had to start over, it was a pain got that taken care of. Um, this, I have dimmers now. Uh, only in half my place. I have to wait for the other half, unfortunately. But that has been a thing that I have really needed to do and hadn't done yet. And there's just a bunch of random little things, like dry cleaning from Alicia's sister's wedding from like August or September or something. I never did that. Um, I just had these clothes in a little pile in my room that I just, I never look at that section of my room because it's, for reasons, um, forgot. I just wouldn't do it. And just random things eating at me. And I took care of a bunch of them. Um, so the first wave of those things have just been taking care of errands or just like big changes, like house stuff. Um, one of my, my, like, one of my childhood best friends, uh, little sisters is starting to be a real, or, uh, uh, forgetting the correct word for it right now, but doing home designer, whatever, interior decorator, yeah. Uh, she's helping me with, uh, updating my place. Uh, so we've been having meetings and stuff on that. Um, yeah, so that's been going good. And work has been getting so much better. Last winter, I was stuck in a really bad place at work, and it was miserable, and now it's getting so much better, and I feel like I have, like, a good path forward, so for, like, months, I should be good to go, and that's been good. The next wave of goals is, like, fitness things, and that'll be good, which kind of leads me into my question to Sam, which was, if you could put, like, fill your living room with one thing, what would it be? And it was so funny, because, like, everything that Sam was about to say, like, foresaw it coming, or, like, uh, I don't remember what she said first. It, I think it was Jello first. But I was just like, you know, money would make the most sense. And then he's like, $100 bills. I'm like, gosh, damn it, he got me. Um, so he had uh, money, trampolines, and Jello. Trampolines is especially funny, because 
I just got a little trampoline. Me and Alicia both saw this random viral TikTok thing. Well, I don't even know how viral it is. Just because TikTok shows your, 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 you what your friends like also, both of us ran into this thing. And both of us were like, you know what? Yes, a trampoline is what I need in my life for like just some form of weird exercise. And I got, I like literally ordered it right then. And then I, like a day or two later, canceled the order because I'm like, no, I'm crazy. And then Alicia's like, I'm getting one. I'm like, ooh, maybe I should go. <laughs> and I did and arrived like mid last week, put it together like yesterday and finally used it. It was nice. I went for like 40 minutes because I watched two episodes of Spy Family while watching it. And it was good. And I had to do it more. But yeah. Fitness stuff in general, because of wrist and shoulder injuries, I have not been doing rock climbing or trapeze, and I need to do that more. But what to fill my room with? Not trampolines. One's enough. If you have all trampolines, you can't do anything. Uh, so I thought, of, all right, if I'm going the valuable route, what am I going to do? $100 bills was the first thing that came to mind. Then the Henry Nerdy answer was pristine first edition, like, alpha black lotuses. Because each of those are worth like $80,000 a piece, and they're about the same size, if not smaller. They're definitely like shorter, like that way, but I don't know about thickness wise in a dollar. So I'll, I'll outscale Sam by at least like eight, 80 times, <laughs> or eight, 800 times, or whatever. Uh, Though, before starting this, I mean, I, I knew that, like, the correct answer for the most valuable substance is, like, antimatter. But if there was antimatter in my living room, everything would just explode. So, not that. So, this looking at the internet, it's basically, like, red diamonds is the most reasonable, expensive thing I could fill my <laughs> living room with. And that would get me many, many, many millions or billions of dollars. And that'd be cool. I'd, I'd be happy to be a billionaire. I'll share some with you, Sam. You get, like... $20? Just kidding. I will support you forever. Um, I will be your patron. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's a more fun thing. I should have thought about this more. <laughs> I'll cut back to it, but I'll just do the money thing for now. As far as office decorations, uh, you and I, I think, have a similar issue right now. Where, so I don't have a lot. But you'll see, like, I have, like, my, like, little puzzle collection over there. Um, that's kind of it right now. Um, I'm planning on, like, getting rid of this couch and making room for a bunch of stuff. But that's for another day. Living room is going first for what I'm prioritizing, updating. Um, but all this blank, boring space behind me. Both of us need to up put stuff on our walls. You have a, like, a little, like level that you can like pin things to i don't remember like a corkboard kind of style thing in your office so which is great but knowing you sam you should be plastering the walls with like tasteful things it's still an office it should be pretty tame like not like too distracting but it'd be cool so something i've been doing is i've been always getting like the kurtz gazette uh calendars uh i haven't hung the one from last year or this year yet <laughs> i so i did i didn't use the one last year at all because I'm very nervous about how to hang things in a in a place where I care about the walls. <laughs> so I just need to do that. But yeah, I think you need stuff for your walls. Um, I also think you need ducks on your desk. Put the ducks somewhere. <laughs> I got Sam a bunch of little ducks. Because uh, I could. And they were fun. <laughs> um, so, as for my question... Uh, I don't know how much I've mentioned that I'm working on games on this channel, but, like, I have a game that's, like, really far along. Like, I'm gonna try to get, like, real cards printed of it soon. Like, me and Justin are having a game design night tonight. Um, before that, I'm going to make version 4, even though it's more like version 7, version 4 of the printed copy of my game. Um... And after that, I think I'm going to be ready for the first, like, alpha. Like, the first, like, I'm going to print it. I'm going to print a bunch of them so I can just give people the deck. And, like, a manual will be like, here you go. You have a game now. I hope you have fun. Um, and Benji, our friend from camp, 
uh, he was just inviting me to go to Gen Con, which is like a board game convention. And he mentioned that there's a section for first time game creators or like first time, like, uh, what was it called? It was like just a first time showing of games so that if you have a really early product, you bring it there, get a bunch of people to play test it. Cool. Um, so I don't know if we'll be ready for that for this year, but maybe. Um, but Sam, you you just talked about your first book. So that's Justin updating me about the game, presumably. Um, what? Tell me about your experience creating a product in a way for the first time. Uh, do you think I should go full force and like get like artists to work on my game and get an amazing alpha and try to show it at Gen Con and get famous from uh, the game? I don't know. You're much more of a creative type than I am, and like I'm, I'm working on another game too, and I'm like, man, maybe I should really just make this a goal of mine to get my game ready for Gen Con or something. I don't know. Tell me about creation. I look forward to hearing you. I, what? I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye, Sam.